the best thing you can do is teach people to write because there's no difference between that and thinking. And one of the things that just blows me away about universities is that no one ever tells students why they should write something. It's like, well, you have to do this assignment. Well, why are you writing? Well, you need the grade. It's like, no, you need to learn to think because thinking makes you act effectively in the world. Thinking makes you win the battles you undertake. And those could be battles for good things. If you can think and speak and write, you are absolutely deadly. Nothing can get in your way. So that's why you learn to write. It's like, well, I can't believe that people aren't just told that. It's, it's, it's like, it's the most powerful weapon you could possibly provide someone with. And I, I mean, I know lots of people who've been staggeringly successful and watched them throughout my life. I mean, those people, you don't want to have an argument with them. They'll just slash you into pieces. And not in a malevolent way. It's like, if you're going to make your point and they're going to make their point, you better have your points organized because otherwise you are going to look like and be an absolute idiot. You are not going to get anywhere. So let's say you own a pencil factory, I'm a worker in that pencil factory. You can have all the machinery, all, you can buy all the raw materials you want, but without me and presumably many others like me to assemble the pencils, all you would have is a pile of wood, yellow paint, graphite, rubber. Who do you think put more in? The guy who spent millions of dollars buying all the machinery, leasing the place, making sure there was a management structure, doing the LLC formation, making sure all the tax code was in compliance, or you standing outside because you can stick a piece of graphite into a piece of wood. <laughs> If you can formulate your arguments coherently and make a presentation, if you can speak to people, if you can lay out a proposal, God, people give you money, they give you opportunities, you have influence, that's what you're at university for. And so that's what you do, is you, that's, you're, in, you're in English, right? You're, and yeah, in languages, anyways, it's like, yeah, te teach people to be articulate because that's the most dangerous thing you can possibly be. So, and that's motivating if people know that. It's like, well, why are you learning to write? Because you're, here's your sword, here's your M16, right? Here's your bulletproof vest. Like, you learn how to use them. But, uh, it's just, it's an endless mystery to me why that isn't made self-evident. So, that's the sort of thing that can drive you mad trying to sort out. So I pretend to teach, and you pretend to learn. It's like people are, there's a, there's a conspiracy to bring people into the education system to make them weaker. So, I guess that keeps the competition down. Maybe that's one way of thinking about it. If your students are stupid, they're not going to challenge you.